Access granted. Hello there, YouTube. Today we are going to talk about mouse sensitivity and how you should uh, dial it in for your, like, I don't know, movement <laughs> or how you play the game. So you could, like, either have a, have a too low or too high. So don't go buff it all the way up and think you'll be an epic shooter. You can always, like, learn to use a high DPI, but like if you're sniping and all that, it actually helps to have a low DPI. And in shooters in general, sometimes it's a good thing to have a lower DPI than normal. And DPI sensitivity, sorry. <laughs> uh, DPI is sensitivity, but anyway, uh, sensitivity on your mouse. So uh, the big reason to have a higher sensitivity is that if you're playing like in 4K or uh, what is it, Ul Ultra HD, uh, 1440, then you have a large screen real estate that you need to move your mouse, so therefore you need to bump up the sensitivity so it don't feel so slow. And the same if you go down in resolution from let's say 1080 to 720, it's a good good idea to lower it to get the same feel because then you don't have so much uh, real estate. But anyway. To see if your mouse settings uh, sensitivity is too high or too low, I have two uh, examples here for you guys that I made in my in paint with my epic skills. So basically, we will go for the this one, the the low sense uh, if if your sensitivity is too low, and we are not taking into account like bullet drop and all that so this is basically call of duty where you where your uh, crosshair is that that's where you hit so in this one there's a guy running Oop. but when you're turning your mouse uh, uh, towards him you you're always behind when you're shooting you always seems to be behind him and that is a good indicator that your mouse sensitivity is too low so you need to bump it up so it basically your mouse moves faster and if you and the next one here is if you if your uh, crosshair is in front of the character or the the thing that you that are that are moving that you are trying to shoot, that means that your sensitivity is too high. So you basically need to like go into some matches and then try and hit some moving targets, um, and of course try to hit them and then see where your general shooting area is and if it's behind the the, the object. Then bump it up a little bit, and if it's in front of the object, bump it up a little bit. No, sorry, if it's in front of the object, uh, bump it down. If it's behind, bump it up. There it is, yeah, stupid me. I hope this makes sense, but you can kind of see it on the illustrations how it should be. Uh, and um, that helped me out a shitload when I did that. I basically went in and, and did some, I think it was Counter-Strike and battlefield and I messed around with those games and it, it actually helped me quite a bit because you, you you get to a certain point where you feel comfortable with with the, how your wrist move or your elbow or your arm and all that and what speed that moves in and you, you kind of like f find your your cozy point or what you will call it and then you basically just need to dial in the sensitivity so you don't need to like relearn or have to do this fast or slow or you basically just use your normal speed like you would, would do in any other game and then you use like the end game or the DPI on your mouse to lower it up or down. I hope this helped a little bit. <laughs> if you if you have any questions about it I will be happy to answer them in the comment section below. But just remember if you don't seem to be catching up with the moving target you need to up your, your sensitivity if you are too fast for your target uh, AI shooting in front of your target all the time then you need to bump it down so anyway I hope you guys will come like and subscribe and have an awesome day bye